pretty weak. Yep. All right, here's a parallelogram as drawn. Here are all the values uh, relating to x and y. They want us to find x and y, and given that this is a parallelogram, now you know that the two diagonals of the parallelogram create um, basically midpoints, so those are equal, those are equal. So I can set PT, which is y, equal to TR, which is 3x plus 1. I'm going to set those equal to each other. And I can also set QT, which is 3y, equal to TS, which is 7x plus 9, which means I have a system of equations. Systems of equations, if you remember from Algebra 1, you can solve this by several methods, um, substitution, linear combinations, or elimination. I'm going to use that method. I'm going to multiply this by negative 3. And when I do that, I'll write that down here. That gives me negative 3y equals negative 9x minus 3. And now when I add these straight down, I'll go ahead and erase, get rid of that so you don't get confused. When I add those straight down, I get 0y equals negative 2x plus 6, which means I have an equation just in terms of x now. Solve this for x, subtract 6 from both sides, negative 6 equals negative 2x, divide both sides by negative 2, x equals 3. Plug that into any one of these original equations here, and it should give you the same answer. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, plug it into any one of those. Sure, that's fine. Because now we're going to try to find what y is. So actually, let's plug it into this one right up here. That's the easiest one the very first equation that we wrote up there. So y, I'm doing the work up at the top, y equals 3 times 3 plus 1, which means y equals 10. So let's check our answer. If we plug in 10 for y, that gives you 30 here and 10 there. If we plug in 3 for x, that gives us 10 here and 30 here. It checks out. So your answers are x equals 3, y equals 10, done.